Welcome back to Blar. Today I wanted to talk about a review and show how to play Battleship Hidden Threat, the card game. It's from Hasbro. came out in 2011. Uh, you can find it at thrift shops. I think it's on Amazon for like four to six dollars usually. Looks like I picked this up for three. Probably a thrift shop looks a little, a little beat down. Let's check it out. The overall point of Battleship the card game is to sink all five of your opponent's chips. So we have some um, two decks. You have a red deck and a blue deck. You got our power cards. This is a reference card. Each deck comes with a reference card. We're just going to take a look at one deck. Which will show how to play through. We don't need both of them unwrapped. So we have a shield. Your miss cards. <coughs> power up cards. And your ships themselves. And your red pegs. Alright, so let's take our reference card out. Once you have your two decks pulled out, you'll separate them into 12 coordinate cards, 26 battle cards, and then shuffle your coordinate cards. And place them face down in a 3 by 4 grid. So you place not random. I guess you technically could probably do it yourself. More like Battleship, I guess, when you set your own ships out. But this is random and it's fine. So that's how it says to play this game. So we'll go we'll go with that. And we have your battle cards. This is your draw deck. So we shuffle those up. And you're gonna deal five cards to yourself. Five. Well, this is our hand. And we can look at some of the cards here. So, your opponent will have the same setup, just in a mirror image across from you. And you're going to be playing cards onto their stuff. So, to search their field, you'll play a white pig card. onto their field. So if we're just using one side of the uh, deck here. So this would be of course red. But you'll pick one of their cards, whichever one you want. You'll place it, or you'll tap it. The reveal. And here we have a ship. You have a reference, so that is the or the destroyer. That's some special abilities on there. Let's go through later. So now you know it's there. You discard this to your discard pile. Draw another card. So that's how you search. And then once you have a card revealed, this is how much damage it needs. This is a reference to a special ability. So it needs four red pegs on there. So now on your turn, you have a couple red pegs, a shield, and a special. So to start to destroy their battleship, you'll play a red peg. It'll go under here to show one damage. At the end of the turn, you draw your hand back up to five. Uh, some special cards will let you play more than one card on your turn, which is useful. Like this will let you play two more cards. So when the turn comes back around, you can search more, or you can try to get rid of this. Uh, I think this is the destroyer, which gives them will give them plus one damage. So you probably want to get rid of this. So you would play this card. Let's let you play two more cards. 
So that's a that's the play. You don't get to play like three attacks, but you would get to play red here. So you're at three. You get one more card. And now you're at four. It would destroy the ship. So that gets removed. He's going to your discard pile. You got two cards left. You draw back up to five. Play continues. So say if you searched and just got a miss. That stays up and you just lose your pig. Goes into the discard pile. Draw your card. So gameplay continues like that until you've destroyed all the opponent's ships. Um, you can use a shield. So let's find another ship. So this is only two damage, but if it was your ship, you could put the shield on. So now you have to get through the shield and through the damage. And in this game, damage doesn't carry over. So say you had a one on here. That's one against the shield. We play the you play again. But you only have a two. And you play it here, so it's three damage, but it only destroys the shield. It doesn't carry over, so that won't get one damage. The shield destroys. All that goes into your discard pile. You draw back up to five. And so on and so on. So it's pretty quick, and I think fun game. I think I like it better than Battleship. Said it was easier. Uh, the specials are pretty cool. <coughs> like this here is the PT boat. Takes two pegs to sink at the start of your turn. Repair any ship by removing one peg card. This power doesn't work with shields. So as long as it's face up, let's say this guy was here and had one damage on it. Start of your turn, you can pick one ship, take off the damage it to the opponent's discard pile. So each ship does something different, which is also pretty cool. So that's the base of the game. You'll continue. Try not to miss. Because I'll waste your turn. And destroy all the ships. The submarine is the only one that you have to destroy differently. Of course, I can't find, right? <laughs> That's your carrier. Last one. So the submarine, you have to destroy with white pigs. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. You know, symbol-based, which I'm not a huge fan of. So you would need three pigs, white pigs, to destroy the sub. You can put the shield on any ship you like. Alright, let's take a look at the ships. Let's drop these missed cards out. There's our five ships. Here is our is the battleship. Battleship has a plus one on there. So four pegs to sink and one red peg to each of your red pegs in play. For example, a two peg card turns to three. So this thing will like flip and destroy things that are almost dead. So if this is at one, you flip it, the battleship will hit it, it'll destroy it. So it makes the game even faster. All right, so that's the battleship, the aircraft carrier. I just uh, here we go. So this is the biggest ship at five pegs. At the end of your turn, you can reload your hand to seven cards instead of five. So you increase your hand size. It's always a plus. 
the destroyer, three pegs to sink. You may, may now play white pegs as well as red pegs to damage ships. So when this is face up, your white pegs become red pegs, which is nice. This is the PT boat, two pegs to sink. At the start of your turn, repair any ship by removing one peg. This does not work on shields, so it can repair things. It's pretty weak, so it goes away pretty quickly. Submarine went over. Takes white pigs to destroy. Once they're all gone, you win the game. Now the special cards. Let's grab those. I think that's all the symbols. Yep. So you can choose because it says or when you play it, you pick one, what you're gonna do. Play two more cards or this. This one is discard one or more cards, white pig cards. So if you're getting towards the end where you just have the ships up and you gotta get rid of the white pig cards, play that. So you can draw draw your hand back up to five or seven depending. Uh, this one's to play more cards, so you play it, and you play two more cards. Well, this one is heal. So on this one you get to do both. You get to heal one and play an extra card. So you'll play this, heal one peg, and then play another card. That's what work on shields. And this is, or you can play this and draw three more cards. If you're like searching for red pegs, stuff like that. That is Battleship Hidden Threat. From Hasbro. I think it's a good game, especially for the price. Uh, everything looks pretty good. Not overly detailed ships. Everything's kind of gray, but the blue and the red look good on the board together. Uh, the pegs are easy to see. Uh, the symbols are pretty easy to remember because that's the number of what you're going to do. I don't know if I would rate this. He's a do I rate these card games? No, like out of 10? Usually not. I don't know. I would give this like a, I don't know, 7 or an 8. I've only played it once. Plays okay. Well, plays good, I, in my opinion. But I mean, uh, overall, I'd recommend picking one up. If you're a Battleship fan or a card game fan, I think it's good to have it on hand for a two player game. I guess we can see the board, how it be set up here. It shows you. So there's your head-to-head. -head. So this one came with two instruction booklets for whatever reason, which is kind of cool, I guess, for each player to reference. Battleship Hidden Threat. Good game. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.